are visible if not just let me know so today's uh, topic of discussion is structures in uh, c uh, till now we have seen uh, many data types uh, all are predefined data types uh, that means the integer float character double long whatever we are declaring are supported by c are given by uh, c or are instructed by c so if i am uh, putting uh, say integer a yes there are uh, uh, some suggestions given by the c compiler that uh, uh, e uh, the integer variable must contain these things so it is told by uh, or it is suggested by the c compiler itself uh, so uh, if i am declaring an integer it will be 2 bytes or 4 bytes depending on the compiler and uh, um, uh, it can hold in the real uh, it can hold on the uh, values with uh, uh, no decimal point float can support a decimal point value can take 4 or 8 bytes likewise so we were we were trying to accommodate our data into that predefined format then uh, we went for a uh, little derived kind of data type which is called as arrays uh, where we were uh, able to group or combine similar type of data in a group so that group size will be varying it will be of 10 50 100 1000 whatever may be the size of that array that we, we were able to take and uh, but the compulsion was uh, we were supposed to group only similar kind of elements in an array. That was a compulsion. But yes, to some extent, we got a flexibility and a repetitive task was uh, uh, avoided uh, because of arrays. So if I am uh, having 100 elements of similar kind, then instead of going for 100 uh, uh, variables different variables we are using only one variable and a subscript to address uh, individual element in that group so we have uh, we had enough discussion on arrays just a uh, uh, point of uh, contention in uh, telling you this is that yes we have a flexibility in c to define the data as per our utility so Yes, there are integer floats and characters are available, but we can group them together to form a bigger component of data. Only compulsion in the array was uh, we uh, are supposed to take uh, or group only similar kind of data in uh, an array. So if I am uh, in case, let us say that I am storing your information of percentage, then it is okay. Uh, I, I can go for a float array and only percentage will be stored. But only percentage will be stored. How will I know uh, what uh, which student has scored uh, what a percentage? So say if I want to store together, if I want to store the information together as roll number of a student, name of a student, and percentage of a student. So arrays are not permitting that because roll number will be name of uh, integer type, uh, name will be of string type that is character array and uh, uh, marks will be of or percentage will be of float type so there is no provision in array that i can group these three together but a c language not only c language for that matter many other languages are, are supporting a concept of user defined data okay? user defined data type. so there are two types of data types we can say that the data types which are supported by the or supplied by the compiler and the data types which we are uh, uh, or the user is defined. So there is a concept of user defined data type. So uh, if I'm uh, meanwhile, if I'm not audible, please drop a message because I doubt uh, on my uh, headphone system, sometimes it goes off and I don't understand. Okay. So. Uh, I am audible. Am I right? Yes, sir. Uh, so if if uh, in case I am not audible, please drop a message in the chat box. So there is a concept of user-defined data type in every programming language in which uh, one of the user-defined data type is structure. What is user-defined data type? It 
user defined data type allows you to gather the data as per your need in a single unit okay in a single unit like like just now i said i want to store a roll number name and marks of a student together so there is a for integer variable there is a string variable and there is a uh, float variable i can bring them together in a single um, box we can say or single container and that container will be called as a data type like integer is a data type means it is a container having its own uh, characteristics float is a data type means container having its own data types likewise i can have a container defined uh, the user can define his own container uh, which will have a particular data type or a group of uh, or collection of different data types together okay and that can be used as a data type one of the data type which is supported in c is structures what is that Theoretically, what is a structure? A structure is a user-defined data type in C or C++. The structure creates a data type that can be used to group items of possibly different types into a single type. So, in array, we are grouping similar data type together. In structure, we are able to group different types of data into a single type. So, ultimately, it uh, presents a record. So, in a file, or in a table we can have a number of uh, what we can say uh, number of uh, different fields so likewise uh, you can uh, create a record using a structure so with the definition that things will be more clear let us see this what's happening here here what we are doing we have a character array by name we have the age and we have a character uh, let us say status status means uh, say pass fail or male female or single married diverse that kind of status if we are uh, matching so uh, that single word uh, single letter can be used so let us say that uh, there is a uh, or admission uh, we can it's a, it's for admission then we can say it is the name of student age of student and character uh, uh, status is uh, status is either admitted or not that kind of thing we can uh, go for so what will happen here so let us say that a student by name abc who is of 20 years of age is getting admitted and uh, let us say that a student uh, MNO of age uh, 21 is not getting uh, is rejected with admission. So these three things I need to store as a single unit. These three things I am storing as a single unit, which is not possible in an array. So instead, what I am doing, similarly, there will be number of students. So what I'm doing, I'm defining a data type of my own. The user is defining the data type of his own and uh, maintaining all the variables uh, which he wants to be the part of that data type in that container. Okay. Likewise, this kind of container will be formed. There will be name followed by age and followed by status. So what will be the size of this? The name is going to take 10 elements. Uh, int is going to take, say, uh, 8 elements. And this is going to take, uh, let us say that, 2 elements. Okay. So it will be 10 plus 8 plus 2. So it will be tw uh, 20 bytes. Uh, size of this will be of uh, 20 bytes. So this way we can uh, declare a structure. So this will be a single unit. This will be a single unit. A complete container will be defined. And this is a data type container. So whenever uh, as I can declare uh, a variable for int a, int is a data type. 
I can declare uh, variable for type integer. Similarly, I can declare uh, variables for type structure. Okay, now every uh, element defined of this type is going to have the same structure. Okay, it's going to have the same structure. Likewise, uh, ABC will have uh, will be one stu one structure variable. MNO, uh, MNO will be another structure variable. Similar kind, we can have a number of variables. How to define? So we can use the stru uh, keyword structure. We can use the keyword structure. So struct is a keyword. Struct is a keyword. not complete structure. Struct is a keyword. We can give any name to that structure, any valid name which we can uh, give to a variable or to a uh, function can be uh, given. And now we can have data members into that. Various members will be uh, declared. Every member can be of different type. Every member can be of different size. Every member can be of different genre. That means the members can be of integer float data type. That is, uh, a data type may be different. It may be of different sizes. Like if it is integer float or character, definitely they are going to take different sizes. And of different genre means it can be a normal variable, it can be a pointer variable, it can be a structure also, it can be an array also. So anything we can combine together to form a data type. Uh, and we can label it as structure which can be used further. How we'll go for it? Let us see here this example. In this example, there is struct is a keyword. A structure is defined by name person. By name person. And by name person. And it has three things in it the character name 50 so an array of characters of size 50 integer say some citizen number or uh, something like that like our other number so citizen number uh, maybe of integer form and of float that is salary okay so there uh, what what this is doing this is declaring a container this is declaring a container a data type of uh, called as a uh, person which will have name in it of size 50 site site number which is an integer and salary which will be a float so what will be the size of it 50 uh, let us say that 4 and float is taking 8 so 54 plus 8 the total size of this will be 62 so this data type, like integer is taking four bytes, float is taking four eight bytes, the data type person is taking 62 bytes. So whenever a variable of type person will be declared, he will be allotted with 62 bytes, like here. This with the declaration of uh, array can be done. This with the array, array can, sorry, not array. Uh, declaration of structure variable can be done. So P1, P2, and P3. These are the variables of type person. Okay, it can also be declared uh, separately, uh, not necessarily it should be declared with the definition also. Anywhere in the program, I can uh, declare it uh, in main uh, or in any function, uh, I can declare a variable, uh, this variable of person. So I can declare it as uh, struct p1, p2, p3, and so on. Okay. So either I can declare the variables in this way, or I can declare the variables in this way somewhere in uh, somewhere uh, down the program. Okay, and these are the declarations at the uh, type of uh, 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 these are the variable declarations at the type of definition of that structure. So now P1 will have 62 bytes, P2 will have 62 bytes, and P3 will uh, have 62 bytes. P1 will have its name, site number, and salary separately. P2 will have its name, site number, and salary separately. P3 will have its name, site number, and salary separately. So there will be three different variables which will be declared for uh, 
a person or for this uh, new data type okay so now uh, i hope you have understood if you have not uh, please raise it out another example uh, in the same uh, structure by name uh, books is defined which is having uh, three arrays three character arrays one is title another is author and another is subject so 50 plus 50 plus 100 200 plus an integer plus an integer so maybe of four bytes so 204 bytes it is going to take it is going to have a this will be a container of four uh, values three will be character arrays one will be an integer for which i am declaring a variable book 50 so it is not a single variable i am defining i am defining the entire array the way i can define an array for an integer for a float i can declare an array for a box now what this is going to define it is uh, this will be the size is 204 so as soon as i declare an array of 50 it will it is going to reserve a block of 204 into 50 204 into 50 right so this way we are uh, declaring your uh, So this way uh, we are we can declare one variable or single variables of type structure or an array of type structure. So I hope uh, you have understood what is the purpose of structure. In uh, in structure we are actually defining our own data type. As per our convenience, we can put the elements of a different data types of different genome in uh, that container and create number of variables from that okay so this way uh, this programming uh, languages support you to define your own records uh, and uh, be more flexible with the program okay so i hope uh, did this the points are clear am i right if you can prompt if it is not correct, uh, if, if, if it is not clear, otherwise I'll go for an example. Right. So we'll continue for the example now. Let us see one example how to access the elements of an array. Now here see uh, we have declared p1, p2, p3. So person is not the structure person is not in uh, in physical existence. It will be created or it will come in physical existence only after creation of a variable. Okay, like integer is logically defined. When I say integer a, there will be a space allocated for a. Similarly, when I, whenever I will create a variable p1 or p2 or p3 for that matter, then only the space will be allocated of that size into... Uh, Sir, there is a question in the chat. Yeah, just a moment. Yeah, Palash, as uh, we were declaring user-defined functions outside main, where the structures are declared. Structures are normal variables. Uh, they can be declared within the function or outside the function also. If you want to use that function anywhere in the program, better declare it outside the function globally uh, and you can create the variables uh, in any of the function. So, uh, like any other variable can be declared, we can declare uh, function and it, uh, we can declare structures uh, globally or locally. Uh, mostly uh, we declare the structures well in advance uh, so that it can its variables can be used anywhere in on in any function okay so uh, we'll uh, when we'll go through the examples the point will be more clear so right now you can understand that it can be declared anywhere in the program anywhere means of course 
at the beginning of any function at the beginning of main or in the global uh, location like here in this program in this program uh, uh, we have uh, declared stdio dot h and we are declaring a function we are declaring only declaring a function we are not creating any variables from this a student data with uh, character pointer student name character pointer student name means that is going to uh, be created at that moment whenever that variable will be uh, created otherwise i can take a character array at this moment integer student id integer student age so there will be three uh, variables which are declared uh, in in a array of student okay and now uh, whenever i want to access these i need to create a variable of this type and then only i'll be able to store or access the uh, variables or information from that uh, structure so student is a variable of structured data type so i am declaring a variable called as student in the main this is a global declaration so i can use the definition of this structure anywhere in my program right now we don't have any function so in main function uh, the variable called as student is declared and that variable is of type structure student data so as soon as we declare this there will be a variable with three fields created one will be student name another will be student id and last will be student age so this will be created and now this will be its uh, student name this will be its student name this will be its student id and this will be its student age okay of what student ka student name student ka student id or student ka student age okay for this student this array this entire uh, memory block is defined so i can have likewise student 1 student 2 student 3 student 4 and so on okay so uh, now i am assigning the value to each structure member so all of these are data members of that uh, structure so student dot student name so there, there is a access specifier called as dot operator so with uh, student dot student name i am defining his name as steve which will be stored in this i am defining his id as 1 2 3 4 which will be stored in this and i am defining 30 which will be stored in this okay so this is a structure variable name student i can have student 2 which will have another uh, information stored so with the dot operator i can now access these variables as the same uh, similar type uh, what we are doing with any of the other normal variables okay like here you can see displaying the variables a uh, student name is percent c sorry percent s student dot student name or uh, percent d student of student id so what is student id student id is an integer student id id is in is an integer so it is uh, it can be treated as a normal variable it is treated as a normal variable so all these three variables are printed and you are going to get output as this similarly i can get the information of second student third student fourth student and so on okay so likewise we can uh, we just put a loop uh, declare here and we can uh, uh, put a loop of accessing one by one so it can be done so this is a simple program of just declaring the variables and accessing them we can uh, that's what i try to say is any structure variable can be sorry any member of a structure variable can also be treated as a normal variable only thing is we need to have a complete specifier along with that without dot specifier it cannot be said as student name student id student age only it has to have student dot student name so uh, when we have student dot student name means it clearly say that whatever student name you are talking about belongs to this uh, variable belongs to this variable or in the previous case uh, if i'm i'm just going for this 
there will be three uh, variables declared i will just erase all this there will be three variables declared p1 p2 and p3 and then only uh, you are going to have uh, this into physical existence till, till that there will be no existence of uh, person okay now this has its own name this has its own site number and this has its own salary similarly this is p1 this is p2 and this is p3 so this also has its own n this also it ha has its own n cn will be separate for all the three and similarly salary will also be uh, distinct for all three now what is this variable this is p1 dot n dot name this is p1 dot uh, site number this is p1 dot salary so salary uh, name and number of person p1 this is p2 dot n p2 dot cn p2 dot s so if i am just simply saying cn the compiler will get confused to which this belongs to which this belongs so it is not clear for them okay it is not clear for them that is why uh, we are uh, saying that we need to have a access specifier or the stu structure variable name along with every data member then only it will be distinguished so totally in, in all we are declaring here not only three variables we are declaring nine different variables okay three belonging to a one group three of them belonging to one group so there will be separate p.n p2.n p3.n uh, similarly p2.s p3.s all variables will be separate there will be nine variables to there so the name of the structure also access specifier of the structure is must let us go for one uh, another program which is again accessing yes so what about the memory location uh, allocation if memory memory location will be similar to any other variable like here uh, in this case say it will be starting with 1000 this may be randomly starting with uh, wherever we get a 62 byte spree it is going to start with that uh, let us say that this starts at 500 so it will be n will accommodate 1000 to 1049 then cn is going to accommodate next four which are starting from uh, uh, 49 uh, 50 it will be starting from 50 it will consume another four and this will start from 1054 okay and will end at this four ways it is going to end at uh, 62 bytes means uh, 1061 okay only thing we need to have uh, we we need to be clear with all these three will be in the contiguous blocks it's not uh, p1 dot n is stored somewhere else and p2 dot p1 dot cn is uh, stored somewhere else no that will be a single block 62 uh, bytes memory block addressed by p1 okay so is it okay so uh, whoever has asked the question yes yeah. sir yes uh, sir can we assign the value of a structure member by using curly braces separated by commas yes it is possible i'll come to that i'll come to that we'll go for different types of declarations i'll come to that. Right now, this is okay. Uh, we'll go for another program uh, where we are trying to add two distances which are defined in uh, feet and inches. Two distances which are defined in uh, feet and inches. So there are uh, there is a program which is defining a structure distance where we have a float and inches as the uh, 
container so there will be two uh, variables in that so uh, and we are declaring three variables distance was distance to sum all are global now we can use it in any function but right now we have only one function in this so uh, here we are adding distance one with distance two and uh, we'll be getting the sum we'll be getting the sum fine so uh, proceeding with the program enter feeds enter the first distance enter the first distance i'm entering it as just as a normal variable but only thing we need to take care is we need to have a structure variable access specifier so distance one dot feet distance one dot inches distance two dot feet and distance two dot inches so i hope there is no confusion so there are four separate uh, things which have uh, included let us say that this is four uh, this is eight this is five and again this is uh, eight okay so 4.8 and 5.8 are the distances which are included so uh, what we'll do when we need to add this we'll add the feet and we'll add the inches okay so it comes out to be 9 feet and output uh, should be 9 feet and 16 inches okay so if it is 16 inches it is more than 12 so uh, we are not going to say it as 9 feet 16 inches rather we will be saying it as 10 feet 4 inches because uh, 12 inches make one feet so we need to take care of that while adding so adding the feet will be simple sum dot feet so see uh, what's happening here is this is a structure distance one this is the structure distance two or i'll draw it here distance one and distance two these are the two structures d1 d1 d2 okay uh, then uh, values are declared uh, it's uh, this is feet d1 dot feet this is d1 dot inches this is d1 dot feet this is d1 dot inches and another variable which is created is sum it is also having a uh, sum dot feet and sum dot inches so 4 8 8 and 5 8 are initialized now sum dot feet which is this variable is equal to distance 1 dot feet plus distance 2 dot feet it's very simple and very easy as if we are declaring uh, or accessing normal variables normal for floats integer we are declare we are using these uh, variables only thing is we need to every time mention because every time we have only feet into picture so feet this feet belongs to distance 2 this feet belongs to distance 1 this feet belongs to sum the which are separate feet that's why we are mentioning this so feet will be added then adding inches inches coming out to be uh, inches coming out to be 16 so this will be the sum of uh, the two variables and then we are changing the feet uh, changing to feet if inches are greater than 12 so if sum dot inch is greater than 12 yes it is greater than 12 so increase feet by 1 increase feet by 1 sum dot uh, feet and sum dot inches is equal to sum dot inch minus 12 so it will be 4 this is a simple logic or this way we can uh, this program is just illustrating that we can declare all the structure variables uh, in a normal fashion in a, as a normal variable uh, only thing we need to take care every time is uh, we need to have a access specifier with the data member all this if you have that then there is no issue the uh, things will be very clear to you okay so i hope i made uh, the basic concept of uh, c clear yeah, sorry ba basic uh, concept of structure clear uh, now the, as i said there are there is a possibility of having number of different variables inside the structure like uh, we can have it be your float character character array uh, float array all of them we can bring together similarly we can have pointers also as a part of uh, a structure we can also have another structure as a part of structure 
we can also have another structure as a part of structure that is also possible so uh, and other thing is uh, as we can declare an array uh, for a normal integer or a float we can also declare an array for a structure so even if uh, the structure is taking 60 bytes 70 bytes and i'm declaring an array of 10 uh, structure variables it will take 600 bytes or 700 bytes uh, again the same uh, things with features which are applicable to an array are applicable to the structure array also so there is a possibility of having uh, different types of uh, uh, all the types of possible operations which are possible on a single variable on all the variables of a structure okay uh, second thing is uh, we can also have a pointer to a structure we can as, as we can have a pointer to another uh, data types we can have a pointer to a structure also we can also uh, what we can say we can also pass these structures to different functions so this one these user defined data types are nothing but simple variables which can have all as a single variable Will, uh, right? you can ask uh, uh, stay back and ask and otherwise you can be permitted thank you very much